Hi and welcome to my channel. So unfortunately, more UK employers have again had their licenses to recruit overseas candidates revoked. What this means is that a company that was previously able to recruit people from overseas, you know, once you revoke your license, you are no longer allowed to recruit overseas candidates. So the question therefore is what happens to those people that are already in the UK working for that particular employer with visa sponsorship? So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video, because this week alone, quite a few companies have lost their licenses to recruit overseas candidates. So what is really happening that so many people are getting their licenses revoked? As a candidate, what happens to you? What about your dependents? Obviously, the consequences are enormous and you, you don't want to find yourself in this situation in the UK. So that's what we're going to be covering in today's video. So if you're new to my channel, look, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you're welcome as well. Very, you know, glad to have you back. And before I get started, I do have a free newsletter where I share information directly to your inbox about everything going on in the UK with regards to immigration updates, changes, you know, new laws, rules, policies, you know, free visa sponsorship opportunities to move to the UK, trends that are happening, most importantly, career progression opportunities in the UK, how you can progress yourself, work from home jobs that you can do without even needing all these visas, but also side hustle ideas that you can do to get yourself to earn more money so that eventually you can retire early and leave the rat race. So if you check the comment section below, I've dropped a link to that free newsletter. Once you join, then I'll send that info to you as it becomes available. So also, if you want to ask me anything that is private, personal, I know that this topic obviously is something that is very emotional. It can be very emotive, especially if you found yourself in this situation. So you can find my contacts as well. You've got my WhatsApp number as well as my email. Do you start if there's anything they want to discuss privately? If I don't reply immediately, don't worry. I'm probably at work and I will eventually get to reply to that message. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about you know, the UK government revoking the license for, you know, companies that are recruiting overseas. What normally causes this? The main reason why this is happening is because these are companies that are charging candidates huge amounts of money to move to the UK. As you know, it is illegal for a company to charge an overseas candidate the cost for the certificate of sponsorship. So it is legal for a company to charge, say, accommodation fees. They can charge these, um, flight fees if they want to. They can charge visa fees if they supported you to move to the UK. It is on the discretion of that company. So these are things that, let's say that you're moving to the UK, for example, and the company has paid for your flight, they've paid for your visa fees, they've provided three months free accommodation, for example. That company can charge you back for that money, but on the condition that, it was on your contract, you know, when you initially signed it and you knew all along that you were going to be charged for that and exactly how much, which means they can't recruit you. You move to the UK and then all of a sudden they say, by the way, Melvis, you need to pay us £20,000. We're going to take £1,000 from your pay every single month because we brought you to the UK. They cannot do that. So, by the way, if you're new here, you're wondering who I am. So, my name is Melvis. I work as an advanced nurse practitioner here in England. So, you know, I started my journey as a carer as well, working in a nursing home, completely fell in love with nursing, decided to, you know, carry on um, studying nursing in the UK as an international student. So once I graduated, obviously I've progressed beautifully to now the most senior clinical nursing position. So I'm very passionate about career progression in the UK because for me, it's not about getting to this country. It's what do you do with yourself once you get here so that you can maximize the opportunities that are here, go for the best only and make sure that you get the best life that you can. So I have a private career coaching program where I support nurses, carers, students, student nurses, prospective student nurses, and people that are looking for visa sponsorship opportunities, free sponsorship to get to the UK. You know, I support you with who is recruiting, how do you apply, 
you know, what is the process? What about your CV, interview preparation, career progression pathways? What else can you do now that you've, you're in the UK, for example? Say so you're a nurse back home or a midwife, but now in the UK, you're working as a carer. Again, I can support you with that transition. As you know, the Nursing and Midwifery Council has recently made some changes where you can now work in the UK without ALTA or ET, even if you studied overseas. So again, I support with all of that process. If you check the description box below, or the about section of this YouTube channel, you're going to see a link to my private coaching program, which is called Nursing Career Bootcamp. So I look forward to supporting you, to, you know, working with you through that program so that you can get ahead. You can get the next steps that you need to do to move forward in your UK journey. So like I was saying, these companies, you know, once the home office finds out, which normally somebody would tip them off, or what happens is that they can do inspections. So if they come to do an inspection and they find out that something is going on, they'll do further investigation. If they confirm that there is something fishy going on, then they can revoke that license. So what happens to the candidates that are already employed by that particular you know, company? Unfortunately, if they revoke your sponsor's license, it's going to affect everybody that is you know, has been recruited by that company. All your certificate of sponsorship and your visas will be cancelled. And this is for you and all of your dependents, which means if you are, let's say you're female, you're the main applicant, you brought your husband to the UK and three kids, all your visas will be cancelled. And so you will be given time, you know, a very short period of time for you to get a new job and get new visa sponsorship. If you're given, let's say, for example, you're given three months, to get a new job, new sponsor, new visa sponsorship and everything, if by the three months you're unable to do that, then you will have to leave the UK, unfortunately. So that's how the rules are. That's what the policies are. That's what the laws of the land say. So you need to be careful. I know that this always seems like an easy option, you know, paying somebody, you know, thousands of pounds. I know people that have paid people, you know, people... Some, you know, people have said that they've paid, I don't know, £10,000, others have paid how much ever they have paid, but it is not something that is legal to do. And so when the Home Office finds out, they will revoke the license for that sponsor. And then all the candidates, it doesn't matter whether you paid or you didn't pay, as long as you've got visa sponsorship with that company, you will be affected. And if you lose your visa as the main applicant, all your dependents, everyone else that has come to the UK, through you is also going to lose their own visa. So it's going to affect the entire family. They're unfortunate. Like I say, I know, you know, quite a few people right now that I'm currently supporting to get new visa sponsorship. They have been involved with this predicament. So it's not a good situation to be in. So please, you need to make sure that you're doing your research well. You need to make sure that you're patient and that's why, you see, with the NHS, things like this never, ever happen. But I do understand that it can be challenging getting a job with the NHS or with a legit employer, but it is worth the patience. It is worth the extra time. And that's why if you're part of my private coaching program, I say this all the time. You may take a long time to get a job, but you will be 100% certain of what you're getting. You will know that you're getting an employer that is going to treat you the way you should be treated. Because the truth is that many of these employers that will charge you these ridiculous amounts of money, they are the same employers that you come and maybe there's no work for you to do, or they're going to make you work 20 hours a day and they'll pay you for three hours. So again, you need to be very, very, very careful. Do your research well. Make sure that you're following due process. It can be tough. You know, it can be time consuming. It can be painful but it is well worth it. And I don't encourage anything other than applying directly. If you're part of my private coaching program, that's what I do. You know, we do not use any agents or any paid visa sponsorship. Everybody applies through the normal pathways, through the normal legit employers. And you do your interview, they review your CV. And that's why the focus in the program is really about optimizing who you are so that by the time you get to the UK, you're already 10 steps ahead and when it comes to career progression and the best opportunities, you've already got access to them. Because having a good UK employer is something that I cannot stress enough how important it is, even for your work-life balance as well, and your mental health, most especially. So please, you know, 
do make sure that you know you share this with your colleagues friends loved ones family so that they are aware of these changes they are aware of these companies you're doing your research well you're checking and making sure that you're safeguarding yourself and you're not involved you know with things that can get you into more stress and more trouble in the uk like i say if it's if the license is revoked it's going to affect everybody in the company whether you paid to come or not it's everybody so you know what's your experience have you got any queries any questions any thoughts leave them in the comment section below and um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel you do want to hit subscribe turn on that notification button if you haven't joined my newsletter check the comment section below you'll find a link on there but if you need that tailored individualized and personalized support then consider joining my private coaching program where i can guide you with that journey like i say it's not an easy option but you're going to get the guidance that you need you're going to get the support that you deserve to follow the due process because that's what i'm all about i've done videos on here about all sorts of opportunities in the uk keep watching and i'll see you in the next video